Okay, so now we can use what we learned in the previous segment to try to answer this other question of what's the probability of randomly selecting an individual and that individual having an IQ that is one standard deviation or more away from the population mean. So we have this normal distribution where we're looking at z-values. Um, and so here, mu is equal to zero, standard deviation is equal to one. So the standard deviation we're looking at is here. Um, and so our question is, what's the probability of randomly selecting someone whose IQ is at least one standard deviation away? So the, it corresponds, the answer corresponds to what's the probability of selecting someone that would be found in this area or in this area. So it didn't say one standard deviation away from the mean, well, or greater than or less than. It is, in fact, a statement that says um, on either side, <clears throat> what's that probability of finding an individual? So we could write this a couple of ways. We could say, what's the probability of randomly selecting someone? If, if we're talking about um, a normal distribution whose mean is 115 and the standard deviation is 15. Oops, mean is 100 rather. Let's go back to IQ. Standard deviation is 15. So one standard deviation left or below the mean would be an individual's IQ is less than what's 100 minus 15? That's 85. So let's see if we can, so 85, or um, since we're looking at either case, uh, left to left or right, probability that you select someone whose IQ is um, one standard deviation above, so 100 plus 15 is 115. In terms of z values, this is the very same question of saying of asking what's the probability of finding someone who's one standard deviation to the left. Um, and so the z value that corresponds to the 85 would be a negative one. And the z value that corresponds to 115 would be a positive one. <clears throat> and if you wanted to check that, you could certainly say what's the z-value, for example, of the 85. And once you drop in the 100 and the 15, you'll find that you get a negative 15 over 15 or a negative 1. Um, and you could do the same thing. Um, that we just did with the 85 to get the z-value of the 115. The z is going to be 115 minus 100 all over 15, and that's a 15 over 15, which is a positive 1. So those are the z-values that correspond to the previous, the prior two values the 185 and the 115. So the answer of finding the probability um, that an individual is whose z value is less than negative 1 or greater than 1 is answering the question of um, what's the likelihood of finding someone in this area to the left or this area over here to the right. And so there are two ways of answering that. We could just do a normal CDF on our calculator. In the area to the left, would go from negative 999 or negative infinity um, out to a negative one. 
and what's the probability of finding someone? Either one of those would be the sum of those two, normal CDF, um, and it would be a positive one out to a positive infinity. So we'll just say 999999. Since this is symmetric, this is equivalent to just simply saying two times normal CDF. And oh, you can choose either one of those. So you can double check this and make sure that you get the same number. Let's go from 1 to positive infinity. And 2 times 0 0.159, since we um, saw that from the earlier example. So you'll get um, 0 0.317, uh, 0 0.3173. So 0 0.3173 is the value that we would get if you were to plug this in. So no matter which way you do it, um, the value should be the same. Roughly 32%. 32%. Now there's a short hand notation. There's a, another way we can um, present that, and that would be with using absolute value signs. And so to use absolute values, it's, we would say um, that distance, essentially z value um, of one or more, and we don't care if it's positive or negative, so we would use the absolute value sign to indicate um, a distance greater than 1. Um, and that is equivalent to um, essentially uh, representing it as the sum of two values or two times normal CDF from either and use either one of those sides. And so you would get the 0.3173. Um, and similarly, if you were asked what's the probability of getting an individual whose distance is more than two standard deviations away, um, then you would do something like th this. It would be um, two times normal. CDF, and I'll choose the easier one, two standard deviations, it's a 2, and then it's the 99999. Nine, nine, nine. And so you could use that to answer that question.